I know lots of wonderful people who work at the Y and have made a lot of friends here. I love to be part of the Y community and am honored to be able to share my story. Last year, for my eighth birthday, I decided to ask my friends to give a donation to the Wise Community Support Campaign instead of giving gifts to me. My friends were very generous, and I was able to give Mrs. Eyre and the Y a gift of $125. I was very proud to make this donation. I wanted to do something like this because I am so lucky to have the things that I have and wanted to be able to share with other people. My family and I spend a lot of time at the Y and I wanted other children to have a chance to do some of the things that I get to do, especially if they could not afford it. I hope to keep making donations like this for a long time because it makes me feel good to help other people. And the healthier I am, the more I'm able to enjoy life and use the skills and talents that God has blessed with blessed me with. So in short, I'm able to do many things. I'm able to give back to my community by mentoring young men involved in Boy Scouts. I'm able to be a dad by emotionally and financially supporting my college son. I'm able to love my wife. I'm able to protect the citizens of Connecticut from fraud as a public servant. And I get to be here today to laugh and cry with you. So how does Livestrong do this for me? I was treated as a regular individual. The team at the Y wasn't just focused on cancer. They were focused on helping me make the most of life. I have a niece who is drug addicted and who has had mental issues all of her life. She has two children, ages three and four. And I love those two little girls more than life itself. I have babysat them when needed since they were newborns, but I was not prepared for what happened back in early December. My niece was spiraling downhill and fast. She was living with the girls at her boyfriend's parents' home. She had enrolled the girls in the YMCA preschool program three mornings a week. She was given financial aid because she was between unemployed and working part-time jobs. But the girls absolutely loved the Y. Throughout the months of October and November, I saw my niece falling apart emotionally. My sister and I would try to pick up the pieces where and when we could. We came to her aid many times over and over, but things were getting bad. I was absolutely at wit's end. I was losing sleep over it. What was going to happen to the girls? My niece was out of control. The girls were going to suffer. Nobody was helping. I didn't know what to do. And then one day, I decided to call the YMCA. They had already begun to make note of my niece's behaviors during those last two days. I didn't know that, but that's what they told me. Every day she would drop the girls off and my niece would sit and just fall asleep in the lobby for a few days. So they were witnesses to her inability to function and they contacted the Southington police. What would I have done without the Y? The Y intervened, they took a stand, they took action, they took charge. The police listened to the Y. That is when things began to change. My niece was forced into rehab, and I owe it all to the YMCA for getting involved. Overnight, I was given temporary unofficial custody of these two little girls. This means that she could take them back when she's ready. But how do I do this? I work full time. Who will take care of the girls? It's, a life it was, it's life changing for my husband and I. I have a full time job with huge responsibilities. We're still paying for college educations. We're planning for retirement, which is right around the corner, and now we have financial responsibility for the girls. Their mom is legally responsible for their finances, but she's in very bad shape. The Y has literally saved two beautiful, innocent young lives. The kids come to the Y three days a week. I had no one to watch them. What would I have done if I did not have the Y and their financial assistance? The girls love every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as they prepare for their day at the Y. I get them here at 7, and after work, I pick them up at 3. They sing songs, they're learning, they're growing, they're developing, they're happy. They love the YMCA. I say it over and over and over to anyone who will listen that I do not know what I would have done without the Y. Life is not easy for everyone, but we could never have survived without the financial and emotional support of the staff at the YMCA. We want to thank you, the donors, from the bottom of our hearts 
for supporting the campaign that has provided financial support to allow my niece's kids to come to the YMCA three days a week. Your generosity has made a huge difference to us as a family. I need my job more than ever now because I have two beautiful children that need me. Because of the YMCA, I can be there for them. They are safe, happy, healthy, and strong because of you and the YMCA. For it is with giving that we receive. May you receive an abundance of blessings for all you have given. Thank you.